Well, to take stock of this social phenomenon, with me is Maria Ingold. She heads a film and television consultancy called My Reality. She's also a judge for BAFTA, the British Film and Television Awards. Maria, I know you've spoken out about your own negative experiences uh, in the film and TV industry. What has it been like having to go public talking about that? Well, I've been talking about it for a while because I do a lot of public speaking, mostly on technology, but also on being a woman in technology. And I realized there was an elephant in the room that no one was talking about, why women are leaving. And it's about sexism and sexual harassment. So I started talking about it to mostly deaf ears. And then the Me Too movement happened, which was amazing because all of a sudden everybody else was talking about it and sharing the same stories, and people were finally listening. Do you think it's empowered other people who might have listened to you sympathetically but not dared to speak out to actually talk about what's really happening? I think a lot of us are talking out. I think the big thing is that people are now listening and taking us seriously in realizing that there is a problem and it's impacting their friends, their, their family, and, and their colleagues and how significantly it's impacting them. As we were saying, you have influence, you're a judge at BAFTA, so mm -hmm. you're, you're known within the industry. What do you say when you're talking about this in terms of how people should behave? What should be different? <laughs> we need to, one, just don't do it. Uh, to call it out when you see it, so don't enable it. And that's really key because Sexual harassment is a, a type of abuse, and abuse is about control, ownership, and entitlement. And people will continue to feel entitled unless we call it out. We also have to support people, uh, because calling it out and talking about it is really hard. And it often happens to more junior people or people who are just starting out in a career, which is more scary. Yes, yes. But the thing to remember there is there are repercussions to what you do because when you harass somebody who's a child, they become an adult. When you harass a 20-something, they become a 40-something with the lawyers. Now, you're also involved in, in the business of judging films. You know what yeah. you're seeing on the screens. And do you think that still, even now, there is a problem with the way we depict women? Yes, uh, certainly this season there seemed to be, and I'm not sure if I'm more sensitive because of the whole Me Too campaign, but there's certainly a lot more films that are about incest, pedophilia, sexualizing teens, sexualizing children, and entirely unnecessary nudity, and that's desensitizing us and normalizing it. And so we see it on screen and it's hard to react in reality because we think we're just viewing it. And sometimes people say, well, yeah. you know, the industry is about what audiences want. But I know that you also talk about positive examples, like Hidden Figures, for example. Oh, Hidden Figures was amazing. And I think Wonder Woman's amazing, although it does need female writers. And there's some great documentaries, Jane, for example, uh, The Farthest, which is about the men and women who helped get voyagers into space. Uh, another point I want to raise with you is the idea that don't just stop harassing or call it out because yeah. it's right, but also diversity being good for the business, being good for the business of making better films. Diversity is essential in general because diversity drives things like innovation as well. And innovation, for example, is diversity of thought. So. As you get more diversity, you're reflecting more people and you're enacting things that nobody's ever considered before. Do you feel encouraged? Do you feel empowered by something like Ashley Judd speaking out and speaking out repeatedly about this? Oh, to, ha to have people be speaking out and talk about it and be listened to, especially having the celebrities who have the reach to get people to listen, has made a tremendous amount of difference. And I feel less alone. It's good to hear that, Maria. Thank you very much for thank coming you. in to talk about your experiences and also what you think should be happening with thank the industry. Thank you so much. Thank you.